Okay, this is kind of a blast from the past here. And uh, this is a Dr. Stifler SEC 15-3 exciter that I built back in about 2008 or 2009. And it was one of his uh, first uh, successful designs. And he actually sold them. I think he had a patent on it. But the patent's probably run out because it's uh, eight or nine years old now. But um, this thing right here, this is what's called the L3 coil. There were three coils in the circuit, an L1, an L2, and an L3. And uh, on this particular um, SEC exciter, you buried the inductance on the coil, the L2 coil, and you had a fixed capacitor in it. Um, the transistor was a little MPS806 or 803, I can't remember which it was. Um, go online, you can find this circuit diagram. Uh, if you punch up uh, SEC 15-3 images, you'll come up with this. Uh, I'm not going to show it. This is his circuit, and he did have a patent on it, but you can research it and build one of your own. Just don't try to sell it. Uh, honor, honor the doctor. <laughs> anyway, the reason for this video is, see this coil here? This is not a standard uh, L3 coil. I got this from the other package of parts from this um, musical mini Tesla coil that I showed in my last two videos. And this is one of the reasons I bought a second kit was to get that coil out of the kit and try it out on a Dr. Stifler SEC unit. And it does work. Uh, it does some pretty phenomenal things. Uh, this is running on 12 volts at about 30 or 40 milliamps. And you can see what I got going on here. Uh, this is a single LED coming off the negative of the battery. That's how strong the field is. And I've got a little motor. My little pulse motor is running off of a, what they call an AV plug, Abraminkel plug, which is two switching diodes. Uh, tied together and then you get a plus and a minus out of it. And, but anyway, this um, circuit right here, which is the um, mini Tesla coil, what they what this kit was called the mini musical Tesla coil plasma speaker. Um, that's it built up right there. And this is basically a Slayer exciter. And what I was wondering about, and I'd like some feedback on this, is where would you put the variable control on this. That's the question I've got right now is where would you put on a Slayer exciter like this the variable control. Now on a Dr. Stifler SEC they're tunable and they go in and out of frequencies and if you look at this on a spectrum analyzer th this frequencies go like this then they have these big tall spikes at the different frequencies. And I don't remember where this was at, uh, 30 or 40 megahertz or 15 megahertz. It's way up in the RF range um, to get this all to happen. And what I would like to do is um, put a variable control in here, either in the capacitance or the inductance, on this circuit. So if any of you want to give me some feedback or where I can put a different component in this circuit to be able to tune this unit right here so I can hunt for these spikes and um, this is uh, how you do it on this one here is you put the ferrite core in and out of that coil that inductor and you vary the uh, oscillation rate and you look for these spikes in, in the um, oscillation to get to this uh, what he calls a spatial energy cohesion. That's what the SEC um, term meant. And he did uh, many, many studies on this uh, spatial energy cohesion where these spikes occur on a spectrum analyzer. You look at here, and then all of a sudden you get one of these massive spikes. It goes along here, and then you get a massive spike. And you tune to these massive spikes, and you get this... Uh, very interesting effect and you get it on this too this is a Slayer exciter and you get the same kind of spikes but this unit is not tunable and I've got all the parts here to build up another one and uh, 
what I want to do is perhaps go into that and put a um, a variable something in that. Anyway, just maybe some feedback on this. And this is to really honor Dr. Stifler's work that I learned a lot from. Thanks for watching.